Hi everyone, I'm Sandrine. Welcome to a breakdown of the new preview for next week's episode of Game of Thrones, Blood of My Blood. Now you'll notice that I'm by myself this week because America's traveling, but he'll be back next week. Don't worry. In the meantime, let's talk about the preview. Now, we really didn't get much from the preview, which I guess could be a good thing because that means there's so much craziness happening in next week's episode that they couldn't show us anything except that. That's what I choose to believe. We did see, of course, Mira still running with Bran, trying to get away from the White Walkers and saying, I'm so sorry. I don't think Mira's gonna die yet. I think that Bran needs her. He literally has no one else except her. So it's gonna be Bran and Mira for a while. And it looks like Sam and Gilly have made it to Horn Hill and are going to see Sam's family. We get a quick shot of someone who looks to be his dad, Randall Tarley. He doesn't look too happy to see either Sam or that he brought a wildling home with him. And as Gilly says, you didn't tell them I'm a wildling. So I'm guessing that's gonna be not a really welcome surprise. Then we get the High Sparrow with Marjorie, who looks like she's about to start her walk of torment, as we had been told she was gonna be doing. But it looks like Jamie is putting a stop to this, or at least trying to put a stop to this. Not sure how that's gonna turn out. Probably not good for the High Sparrow. At least that's what I'm hoping. Then we get uh, Daenerys talking with Dario, who tells her that she's a conqueror, and she simply replies that she takes what is hers. Since it looks like they are riding away from Vaes Dothrak, I'm guessing that that's probably when we're gonna see the scene with Drogon flying over them that we've been waiting to see, because I've, I don't know, I've been waiting to see it. So, And also the title does refer to, to the Thrakis in that it's what the Cals and the Blood Riders call each each other so there's got to be a connection with Daenerys something's got to happen right so that's about all we get from the preview but I also wanted to take a look at the synopsis and see what they tell us there now so in the synopsis they tell us that Gilly meets Sam's family which we saw in the preview they tell us that Jamie faces off against the High Sparrow again saw in the preview but we also learned that Arya faces a difficult choice now that could be whether or not she's gonna go through with killing Lady Crane um, she does have a plan, but whether or not she's gonna go through with it, who knows. And also, they say that an old foe comes back into the picture, which could possibly mean Walder Frey, because if you remember, we saw a really short clip of Walder Frey in the trailer, and so far, we haven't really seen him. So I'm guessing that it would make sense that that's when he comes back, so. And that's it for the synopsis, so. Not really much to go on. I do want to end with sort of a checklist of seeds that we've seen in the trailer, but that haven't been seen in the show yet. So quite a bit has been seen, but from the things that we haven't yet seen, that includes Yara with a Valentis whore having a good time. I'm guessing that because Yara has fled with Theon, this is either going to be in this episode or the episode after that, depending on whether they're skipping the Yara Theon storyline in episode six, which is very possible. Then we have the mountain killing someone that looks like a faith militant. So totally waiting for that one we also have the famous shadow what's what's in the shadow who is it uh someone stabbing someone else in the back now to me it always kind of looked like the mountain getting stabbed in the back but some people have other theories you know i'm gonna stick with the mountain for now sansa on a horse still wearing her dress with the stark sigil so i'm assuming this is just kind of a follow-up of what we've seen in this episode so probably episode six if we see more sansa and john davos with the stark flags behind him i'm guessing this is either on his way to bear island or coming back from bear island i mentioned in my review that he was gonna go to bear island Island to try and get House Mormont on their side because in the trailer we saw him with the, the Mormont flags behind him. So this is probably related to him either going or coming back or around that. The Boltons versus the Wildlings, or at least those fighting scenes we haven't seen yet. I'm guessing that's probably later on this season, and maybe episode eight, that would make sense. Jamie riding in battle or something. I'm not really, really sure yet what that one is about, so I'll admit that um, this one eludes me. Maybe you guys have better ideas. Lancel Lannister is also back at some point. We haven't seen him this season, I don't think. And that leads to the scene with Cersei saying I choose violence, so I'm guessing this is probably gonna be in episode six because it's a showdown between the High Sparrow and the Lannisters, so 
it would make sense. And finally, we have Podrick being taken by Braun at some point or what looks like Braun. I think people were saying that it looks like Braun because of his uh, chin. So it looks like that might be after he returns from House Tully. And that's it. Those are all the scenes from the trailers that we haven't seen in the show yet. Let me know if I missed anything. In the meantime, do you have any theories as to what's going to happen next week? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. The fact that they didn't give us that much makes me really worried about the stuff that they didn't show us.